Now, I just wanted to start off by saying that through my journey of emotional mastery for myself, uh, just in case for those people who don't really know of my story, I, the, <laughs> the father of my daughter left us three days before she was born. So I had to go through a lot of internal struggles in order to get to where I am right now. And I share a bit more about that story on yesterday's uh, episode. Having said that, um, today my intention is to share with you a little bit of tips and tools so that you get a better understanding of how to manage your, your emotions through my experience and my and I can't be where I am right now on the other side of the hill. So imagine if I was there before and I am here right now, I couldn't get through to this side without learning what I have to learn right now. And that is the entire purpose of this live forum is to help you, is to introduce you to world-class experts on the topic of emotional management and mastery so that you can get from where you 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 are right now to where you need to be. Um, when I was, what I'm really, really clear about is right now, I am the painter of my life. I am not the painting. And if you can actually really get that distinction, it will serve you tremendously well. Because what I had realized was, when you are going through circumstances, if you put your power to the circumstance, then you actually are identifying as the painting that you're painting. You're not realizing that you're actually the painter of your life. And whatever that is the result of your actions and your thoughts and your feelings, whether it be, uh, and in terms of your thinking, whether it be conscious or unconscious, whatever you put out, that is that is the actual um that is the person that you are so you are the painter that put it out but the painting which is the result of your actions your thoughts your pro your 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 thinking is the is the painting and the sooner you realize that you hold all the keys to be empowered in your life to be the painter, because you can always choose to repaint over your existing painting. If it's something, if it's a color black, brown, or any other colors that you don't like, if it's, if it's an image that you really, really do not like, you can always repaint with a different stroke, with a different color, with a different method and redo your entire painting. And this is how I was able to go from where I was when I was emotionally distraught to where I am right now. What really also saved me was the fact that I never gave up on myself in the sense that to me, I guess I love myself too much to know that to know that I'm, to know that I should be winning in life. Like that's no way I should be ending up with, you know, how I was feeling about myself, how I was feeling uh, the four core emotions that I had to overcome to get to where I am right now was anger. So I was extremely angry because of what had happened and uh, shame. I, I have been raised in a Chinese culture, Chinese background. So for me, becoming a single parent was extremely shameful. And then fear. So in terms of the fear, it was not just the fear of me um, feeling not good enough or feeling like feeling judged, judged by other people. It's, it was also my internal judgment of myself where I was coming from to the image of me that I wanted to, okay? And the fourth one, uh, shame, uh, uh, resentment. So resentment was anger, shame, judgment. So anyway, sorry, judgment of other people. 
So I was feeling really fearful of judgment from others and also being feeling like a big failure in life. So I had to overcome these really, uh, these four core emotions in order to get to where I am today. And what I just really wanted to share are the two techniques that I used at the initial part of my journey before I start realizing the subconscious and the unconscious programmings that I was having, having uh, within my brain to help me repaint that picture. But the, but the techniques that I'm going to share today are literally the first really small, minute um, things that you can change right now in order for you to not needing to wait for you to understand what you are believing in a subconscious level at an unconscious level. So these techniques you can literally use straight away. So um, the, first, the first thing that I did was because I was in such a angry state uh, where I was. Um, and, and right now, I also just want to let you know that right now, the person I am right now is very different to the person I was. I couldn't have been the person I am right now without going through all of that and understanding what I need to understand. And having this skill set, I think it is so, so important. This is the best skill set I probably would could have given to my daughter when she grows up, emotional management. Because I believe if you know how to manage yourself emotionally, it is actually self-mastery because you won't be as triggered. You will not let the outside circumstances trigger you. And that is also why I'm able to build my business in the fashion, in, in the way that it is right now, like to really fully go forward without having a lot of breakdowns, just because I have mastered myself emotionally. So across all of my uh, different areas of life, because of the fact that I'm able to master myself emotionally, the results that I'm getting in different areas of life, you can just see the, 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 the difference. It is huge. And what I did at the beginning of, um, what I did at the beginning of me, at the beginning when uh, my ex left us, I was very angry. I was extremely resentful of the situation. Having said that, I didn't want to let the situation take over me as opposed to me taking, like being on top of life because I had a newborn baby to look after. I really had higher priorities and I love my daughter so much. I knew she is the priority of my life and I knew that having this anger inside of me will not serve me and it's not going to help our my relationship with her and my relationship with him. So what I had to do is that I had to park this emotion aside. And I know a lot of you get triggered by certain events or situations or people and you will stay fuming, you will stay fuming, and you let that fume take over your day, and it affects the entire day, or the entire week, some people for weeks, just because you get so angry about what, you know, certain things that has happened. Luckily for me, I have never gone through gone down to the depression level. For me, it was just staying at the anger level, because I knew there was more to me. And I knew that I could turn things around. And, um, and, and so what I had to do was I had to ring fence the thought of my ex in my mind because I knew if I were to think about what had just happened, it would just enrage me, enrage me to the extent that I want to kill him, right? So it was extreme. If, if you give me a scale of zero to 10 in terms of emotions, I was feeling about 20, <laughs> And I could laugh about it right now. It's only because my the painting that I painted in my life is so different to what I used to be right now. So, you know, so so for me, it's almost like telling a story. It's it's not you know I I don't I don't resonate with the with the person there anymore because emotionally I have already removed everything that I could possibly think about. And if I really do see him on the street today, 
I could actually wave and I could actually say hello because I have compassion to what he had to go through to be where he is right now. So in terms of forgiveness and everything else, which I can also take people through, I have, I, I think I have definitely mastered in this area. Now back to what I was saying, I had to ring fence him in my mind. What does that mean? It simply just means I gave myself triggers like a fence in my mind. So imagine this issue of mine or the thinking of him was like a black hole in my head. So whenever I get ne- I go near of that black hole, I get sucked in. There's just no other way around it. I, you just get sucked in off into the anger and the resentment because I didn't know how to deal with the situation at the time. So I had to ring fence this effect in order for me to become the best mom for the newborn baby that I had, which I'm so proud of. Yeah. Because I, I I just knew through this experience, I become so resilient and in a very positive way, in a very happy way, because right now I feel that I can put my hand on my heart saying I've done my best. And I am a taller woman because of this. And unfortunately for him, he probably felt like a shorter man. But for me, I definitely feel like I'm a taller woman because of this. So back to that, how I was able to ring fence was I put triggers in my mind. In other words, when I get anywhere close to thinking about this matter, I literally will get alarms in my head. So if you can imagine there's this black hole out of the, in the middle of somewhere, I literally put a fence around that black hole. In my, in my imagination, in my head, I put a fence around that and I tell myself anytime I go near that black hole, when I touch the fence or not even near the fence, when I get triggered that the fence, like uh, the alarm of the fence, I know I need to focus, refocus my attention elsewhere. And guys, you can actually do a short exercise right now. You can actually close your eyes. Close your eyes and take a deep, deep breath. And take 10 equal inhalations with exhalations. And I want you to imagine something that you get triggered. And I will say something that will be triggered you heavily because we haven't, you know, for the lesser issues, we can work them through. But for issues that you just couldn't control in terms of yourself going there emotionally, I want you to imagine it being a black hole sucking all your energies away. And I want you to put a fence around this issue and The color of the fence, the nature of the fence, it really doesn't matter as long as you know how to recognize it. As long as you can tell in your mind when you're going near that it gives you an alarm and you know you get triggered, you get get the alarm for you to move away from this black hole that is sucking up your energy. And so I want you to build that fence. You can build it as thick as you want, as colorful as you want, as tall as you want, in any shape or form, as long as it goes around this black hole that sucks your energy. And once you do that in your mind, um, what I found was really, really helpful. So after he left, my ex left, to tell you the truth, for six months, I've had no correspondences with him. I didn't even write him an angry letter. That was how well I was able to compose myself because I just realized, you know what? This is a black hole. I, if I start even writing and I, I, and I did contemplate thinking about writing an angry letter and send it to him and do other things. But at the time I just thought, you know, I need to focus on being the best mom, which I did. And I'm very super proud of but this ring fence technique worked 
so so well and at the time I didn't know what I was doing I just knew <laughs> if I were to go into that hole I would become so angry and the level of anger that I experience is out of this world it's literally 20 out of 10 in terms of the anger scale so I would say I'm enraged and um, and this ring fence technique helped me tremendously so I knew whenever I was going near that topic of thinking about him I would need to refocus elsewhere I need to go you know focus on my daughter focus on cooking focus on going out for a walk focus on television focus on anything else but this but what really helped me is also I was able to listen to YouTube of the many teachers that were on YouTube whether it be motivational from Tony Robbins or any other teachers, I would literally spend a lot of my time just listening to these teachers and trying to find out more about how I can manage this emotion better. And honestly, it took until probably about six months before I was able to really digest myself emotionally to get to the next level. And I'm proud to say that to this date, I have never written one angry letter. I'm really proud of that because honestly, at the time I could have just killed him. <laughs> so yeah, so if I can do this in this extreme situation, I trust you can do.